How's it going to Forest TV? My name is Jack and welcome to my preview for our Carabao Cup third round tie versus Tottenham Hotspur at the City Ground. So yeah, um, it's kind of a free hit this one really. It's not one that matters too much to be honest with you. I think um, for me this season the league is priority and I know um, sort of in the past I've, I've I said that I want for us to try and go as far into every sort of competition as they can, and I still kind of hold that stance to a sense. I mean, oh, to, to a sense, to a point. I mean, if it sort of distracts us from the league and, and our league form gets even worse from from this, then obviously get out of the cup as quickly as we can, focus on trying to stay in this division. I think that's our main topic, uh, our main focus for this season, staying in the Premier League. But I think, um, you know, like I say, I want to try and get as far as I can, or try, I want for us to get as far as they can in every competition, don't get me wrong. But like I say, if it does hinder our league form, then I would probably say... Um, it's not such a bad thing if we're not in that competition anymore. Um, but then a cup competition could give us a much needed distraction, a boost in confidence, give us something to, um, you know, potentially uh, transfer into the league. So it could work one of two ways, but I think the league is definitely our main priority. And, and if we get knocked out by Spurs, which it looks likely that we might do, I mean, Spurs have got a very good squad and are a very good side and came to the City Ground earlier in the season and got a tuna win. So they are probably the, the favoured side to go through in this situation. Um, you know, a team that, that you would look at and think they probably should be going through against bottom of the league in, in, in the Premiership. But, um, you know, if they do beat us, I don't think it's the end of the world. Uh, we just need to then focus on Crystal Palace at the weekend and see how it goes. But, you know, we never expected to beat Liverpool, and we did. So, so we 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 could could easily go ahead and and beat Spurs. You know, Spurs aren't doing the best at the moment. Um, you know, lost against Liverpool last time out. Um, who did they play the the game before that? Uh, Bournemouth, where they were, where they were um, sort of three one down at a point. So, you know, they're having a bit of a mixed bag of a season. They started off fairly decently, um, but they've kind of. Um, dropped off a little bit and they've never really been a team notorious for um doing well in cup competitions you know they do kind of um tend to to struggle and you know they've they've got the the spursy tag of bottling cups and things like that so that could fall into our into our hands and you know if there is an opportunity for us to go deep into a cup competition um as long as it doesn't hinder our league form i don't really see the harm in it too much um i definitely think tomorrow we should kind of look at a, a weakened 11 in a sense I think um, Henderson um, you know he, he has been absolutely exceptional for the season but I think give Hennessy a start um, you know he, he did decent against Grimsby in the in the in the second round, so uh, I wouldn't be opposed to him starting. You know, but it's good to to give you sort of back goalkeeper the chance in the League Cup kind of thing, and, and maybe in the FA Cup. Uh, in terms of the the defence, then I was going to say um, Bayankon, but he obviously is out for the season. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just think that you definitely uh, you need to try and, and especially with the size of our squad, try and give um, some of the lesser used players a go because I think that it can really um, give them a, a chance to. To prove their worth and, and put themselves in contention for Cooper, you know it's one thing seeing them in training, but if you go out and, and if they go out and impress in a um, in a in an actual match, it, it could sway his opinion a little bit. Sort of in terms of the full back area, then in terms of right backs, both of our right backs tend to kind of play fairly often. So I'd maybe go with Williams at the right back spot, and then at the left back spot maybe Renard Lodi. Um, I don't know, it depends if Harry Toffolo's fit. If Toffolo's back and, and fit, I'd go with him. If not, then, then Renan Loddy for me slots in there. Um, 
you know, it's a bit of a disappointment for Flody of late. He, he did miss out on the uh, Brazil squad, which it did kind of seem as though he came to the city ground to get some playing time under his belt to be picked for the World Cup, and he wasn't quite picked, which is a shame for him. But, um, you know, hopefully it doesn't affect him all too much. And then the centre-backs, I don't know where Loic Babe or Bade, where he's at fitness-wise, but it could be good to sort of throw him in the mix and maybe play him alongside another Loic in, in Loic and be so, or, or give Joe Worrell uh, a start in this one. You know, he, he did so well last season, hasn't really managed to, to start. So maybe if we go Babe and Worrell, that could be a good partnership maybe uh, in the centre-back role. The midfielders for me, I'd probably go with Mangala in there, O'Brien in there, and um, who else have we got that could come in? Uh, O'Brien, Mangala, and I mean, obviously it's been Froiler, Cuyate, and Yates at start in midfield. I feel like there's another midfielder in there that I'm kind of forgetting. Maybe Colback. Maybe throw him in there, something like that. And then the front three for me, you go Johnson. I think Johnson, you know, he's had that time that we talked about where he probably needed to be dropped to get his head his head straight a little bit. He's done that now. So, um, you know, hopefully that the, 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 the game time now is what he needs to kick on and look to sort of go forward um, and add to... Um, you know, his tally for the season already and, and try and show sort of Cooper that he is ready to be back in the starting lineup. And then I'd also go with maybe uh Surridge through the middle and then over on the left hand side maybe Jesse Lingard. Something like that. I don't know, I think it needs to be sort of a, a, a either a full kind of not a full weekend side, we can't really go full weekend, but uh, a strongly weakened side with players who either haven't played much this season or haven't played much recently um, and try and give them a go and, and sort of see what they what they can offer um, sort of thing. It is, a, it is a free hit, you know, Tottenham at home. If this was in the Championship, I'd be buzzing for it. Um, you know, I think everyone would, would be going mental for a game like this, wanting to play full strength and try and really beat them and that and the other. But because we're in the Premier League and, and so are they, you know, we don't really need to go sort of full strength and, and go all, all out at them. You know, like I say, it's a bit of a free hit. If we win, we win. If we don't, we don't. I'd love to see us win. Obviously, I want Forest to win every single game that we, we play and I want us to see, see us win a, a competition, win a trophy. But if it is um, going to have a hindrance on our league form, then I do understand kind of, um, you know, uh, taking the hit, if you will. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go... In terms of the scoreline, I'm going to say Forrest sneak through, you know, with a 1-0 win. Something similar to the Liverpool game. Um, we look much better at home than we do away from home. So hopefully that can pay into the situation. But um, yeah, it's an interesting one. I'm looking forward to seeing how it pans out. Uh, like I say, if, if we do lose, we lose. If we win, excellent. On to next round. But um, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I wouldn't say the League Cup's on the highest part of Cooper's priority, but um, if it gives us a well construction and brings us a bit of form, I'm all for it. So, uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, smash the like button. Oh, I hadn't picked a scorer. Um, Brandon Johnson. Brandon Johnson. So, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, smash the like button, subscribe. If you are new to Top 5 TV, let us know down in the comments below your thoughts. And come on, you Reds.